Crash of the Titans on this PlayStation 2 is a game filled with heavy doubt low gameplay, combining artistic value, but does it throw away experience? Yes. The sound he did on the PS2 and it had very great charm and zooming moments, but to make it a special Crash Bandicoot game such as Persanity, it kind of falls flat. This game, it does have some creative values, and the moments are kind of dual if you ask me. The scenes are like short stuff memories, and I'll forget about it. Any classmate failed looking for another kid's exciting adventure. Hell, I'm not even dissing out this game. I'm going to try to be honest the best I can. The game's pretty short. I'd say 15 hours or more to complete. You can ride on stupid varying creatures and use them for termination cargo battles if you're feeling lucky, bro. This is kind of bland and makes it suckish if you ask me. The controls are fine, but sometimes they can go glitchy and frustrated in moments. So I give this game a 7.9 slash 10. Not bad, I recommend it to the younger crowd. It's really a childhood misser. Sorry kids, love the Burrito Master.